Right, well let's start Windows 8 because I've got lots of important work to do today. Hi, I'm Mike Halsey, the author of Troubleshoot and Optimize Windows 8 Inside Out from Microsoft Press, and today I'm going to show you how to use Windows Startup Repair. When your Windows 8 computer can't start, it'll try and run an automated startup repair system to get things working again. But this doesn't always solve the problem. So what if it either doesn't run or doesn't work? How? do you get your copy of Windows 8 started? So how can you manually launch the startup repair options in Windows 8? Well, there are several ways. You can press F8 on your keyboard, or if you have an older computer, Shift and F8. You can start your computer from a recovery drive, and I'll show you how to create one of those in a minute. Or you can start your computer from your original Windows 8 installation media, be that a DVD or a USB flash drive. You can create a recovery drive in the control panel. Just search for control panel at the start screen in Windows 8. You'll need to change from the main category view to either the large icon or the small icon view. And you want to look for the recovery option. You'll see it here. Once you're in there, there's an option at the top of the panel to create a recovery drive. Now you'll need a USB flash drive to create this backup. It doesn't really matter what size the flash drive is, but if you have one of 32 gigabytes or more, say a very um, a larger one, and your computer has a recovery partition that was provided when you bought it, containing a working copy of Windows 8 as of the day that computer was new, then you can also copy that recovery partition onto the USB recovery drive to give you an extra option for restore should you need it. In the main control panel there are also extra options that you'll find under the Windows 7 file recovery option. Here, if you'll see in the left hand side, you can create a system backup image of your Windows 8 installation. This is everything including your software, your settings, your user accounts, everything. You can also create a system repair disk. A system repair disk is effectively the same as a recovery drive, but it's created on a CD or a DVD, and you'll need a blank disk to be able to uh, create it. But it's worth creating a system image if you have a spare hard disk, maybe an external one or another internal one, to create this image, because you can restore it from the system recovery tools that I'll show you in a minute. To launch the recovery tools directly from your Windows 8 installation media, be that a DVD or a USB flash drive, boot from that media and then at the installation screen, don't click install but down in the bottom left, click the repair your computer link. When the recovery options are displayed on your screen, at the first screen you want to click the troubleshoot option. Then, at the next screen, you have the option to refresh your PC, which will bring it back to a working copy, but you'll have to reinstall all your desktop software, but you want to click on Advanced Options. I'm going to come back to this Refresh option shortly. At the next screen, you've got several options. You can perform a system restore, which is a good way of restoring your PC if it's something like a Windows update or a driver update or a software install that's caused Windows to become unstable. You can uh, use system image recovery to reinstall from an image backup if you've created one as I showed you a little earlier. You can run the automatic repair system. You can open the command prompt to perform a check disk or, or other actions or you can click startup settings and if you change the Windows startup behavior additional options will appear to you such as the Windows memory diagnostic and safe mode. Now a little while ago I mentioned a feature called Refresh. Now this is new to Windows 8 and it's wonderful for novice or non-technical users because it can be run from PC settings from within Windows nice and simply and easily and effectively what it does is re-image the computer from a backup that's created automatically by the operating system and it keeps all your files, user accounts and main user settings intact. 
Unfortunately, what it doesn't do is keep your programs and installed apps, so you'll need to reinstall those. But it is possible to create a custom refresh image that contains your programs and apps. Now, obviously, you'll need to make sure they're installed first, but you also need a second hard disk on your computer or a second partition. Now, you can check this in the computer section of File, uh, of, of File Explorer, and here you can see I've only got one hard disk, so I could partition this and create the uh, backup in there, or I could add a second hard disk. Now, in that, that space, that D drive as it will be created, you'll want to create a folder to store your custom refresh image. Let's say you want to create a folder called Refresh. We'll do that for now. Next thing to do is either from the desktop or the start screen, press Win plus X, the Windows key plus X, to bring up the new administration menu. In this administration menu, you need to select Command Prompt Admin, because we need full administrative rights for what we're about to do creating this backup. In the command prop window that appears, you want to type the following command, and this will create a full backup restore image for you and place it in the folder that you've just created on your spare hard disk. The next time anybody goes to restore the computer, then it will also restore your installed apps and installed programs up to that point. What it won't do is it won't keep the settings for your desktop programs. So for instance, it won't keep your user accounts in Outlook. It will reinstall Outlook, but you'll need to go and put the user accounts back in. So it's, it's not quite as good as a system image backup, but as I say, it's absolutely wonderful for non-technical users because they can do it easily themselves and understand what they're doing. So that's how you use the system recovery options in Windows 8. There's much more information on this and many other subjects besides in my book, Troubleshoot and Optimize Windows 8 Inside Out from Microsoft Press. But for now, I'm Mike Halsey from The Long Climb, and with music from Kevin Levy, thank you for watching. Yeah.